Things were pretty quiet until a hundred years later, when Cletus Darrow found gold here and renamed the town Crystal Cove. Most people thought the curse had been lifted, until the entire Darrow family disappeared one Halloween and was never seen again. <coughs> Moving on. Since the disappearance of the Darrow family, Crystal Cove has been a hub of paranormal activity. You might recognize some of our more famous visitors. Ghostly deep sea diver Captain Cutler, Miner 49er, Charlie the Haunted Robot, and who could forget the terrifying stylings of Space Kook, not me. Oh, how frightening. <laughs> oh, absolutely blood curdling. Not really. They all turned out to be fakes. What? Oh, oh, my gosh. Yep. Captain Cutler was just some guy who was hijacking boats. Miner 49er's real name was Hank. Charlie belonged to Mr. Jenkins, who thought it would be easier to run an amusement park with a crazy robot. And Space Kook? Oh, don't get me started. Oh. Thank you, Velma. Well, that concludes the terrific tour. Don't forget to stop in at the haunted snack shop for souvenirs and your complimentary undead zipper cup. <laughs> what do you think you were doing? Are you trying to destroy our business? Reboot parentals. I was just being honest. Those were isolated incidents in Crystal Cove's otherwise unblemished supernatural past of hauntings and paranormal happenings. Your generation's belief, not mine. My generation, we only got one thing on our minds. That or an ingeniously fashioned remote control. <laughs> Look, Velma. All those jocks and populars cower when faced with my mechanical menace. Who's in charge now, jocks and populars? <laughs> we are. You're buying me a new paint job, dork. A small price to pay, eh, Velma? Velma, do you know this boy? Know me? Why, she's talked to me, and she's a girl who isn't my mother. <sighs> Everyone, this is Jason. We were in the Junior Robotics Club together, as in Velma and Jason, together. Listen, Jason. We used the same toolbox, and once she touched my knuckle. Seriously, Jason, can you please? Hang out with you and all your friends? Oh, snap, girl, I second that emotion. Jason, see, the thing is... Oi. Little help. Tell him you've already committed your heart to a very special boy. I'll handle this. Like, sorry, Jason, but Velma has super important Mystery Incorporated stuff to do. <laughs> Shaggy Rogers, how chivalrous of you to rebuke the advances of another suitor. Um, yeah, you're welcome, but to be honest, all this talk about food has got me starved. I just wanted to get out of here so we could eat. I'm afraid creepy, spooky terror land may be beyond saving. <laughs> oh, I'm the owner, Winslow Fleech, and this is my daughter. Hot dog water. Hello, Velma. Hot dog water? <laughs> Is that some sort of nickname, honey? I have, look, sometimes I recycle the water we boil the park's hot dogs in for bathing to save money, but... <laughs> it's okay, Dad. We don't need to explain our ways. Besides, Velma and I are old friends from the science fair circuit. Yeah, sorry about beating you again this year. Well, it might be the last science fair you compete in, darling. With the park going under, I'll never be able to pay for college. It's that bad? I've constructed a detailed financial model taking into account 300 variables, and they all say the same thing. Close the park. Immediately. Oh, no, no, wait, please! Can't you just hold off a little while and give us a chance to investigate? Well, I suppose I can't get any more broke. All right. Can we go investigate the nachos? Hey out there, mystery lovers. Velma here. No mysteries to report, just another Friday night. I'm by myself, as usual. And you know what? That's okay. What's so bad about sitting in your room alone on a Friday night? Dear Mystery Incorporated, have you looked into the case of the missing sardine boat that disappeared off Dead Man's Point? I think it might have something to do with a haunted oil platform in the area. Signed, Anonymous. Jinkies! A mystery! Hello, Daphne? Velma? Just got a tip on our webpage. Apparently a sardine boat disappeared. What? Well, I guess it can wait. Yes, I know you're in love with Fred. Velma!
Mama, I'm so in love. Scooby, Velma, put Shaggy on. Because you're almost impossible to understand on a phone. Shaggy, Velma, I've got a mystery for us. This boat disappeared. What do you mean you can't come? Dessert? But you can have jellied eyeball cobbler any... Hello? Hello? He hung up on me. They don't want to help me? Fine. I'll do it myself. Got no rooms. But your sign in the window says vacancy. <gasps> that sign's broken. But it's a painted sign. <sighs> Gunther, we got gas. This is my son, Gunther Gator. I'm Greta Gator. Your last names are Gator, and you live in Gatorsburg? What a coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get many guests here at the Drowsy Gator. Shocker. Like, are those claw marks? I don't see any marks. I got a few hotel rules. Rule number one, boys and girls in separate rooms. No exceptions. Then I guess I'm with you, Daphne. I said no exceptions. But I'm a girl. Oh, right. Like what? <laughs> no way! We totally trashed this place! What's going on? A strange phantasm of the cook trashed the kitchen? Really? It's true! <laughs> he had big eyes and sharp teeth and... <laughs> I just came down from Don's room. He told me he's been asleep up there all night. Then he threw a ham at me. Don may be a hostile foreigner from an unspecified culture, but he's no liar. Look, dude, we are telling the truth. We never lie when it comes to food, even if it's being thrown at us. It's late, and we're all tired. I don't know about you guys, but I sure could use a hot shower and a soft bed. Are you guys crazy? Who could sleep in a house full of books? Never mind. If you need me, I'll be in the library. You go on upstairs, Daff. I want to see if I can get the mystery machine up and running again. Scoob, I could use your nose to sniff out any leaks in the fuel line. Oops. I said like again, didn't I? Oh, boy, I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Here, put this rubber band around your wrist. Every time you say the word like, snap it. Hard. Um, but that will hurt. That's the point. Here, pick out a new pair of pants. What's wrong with my pants? You promised me you were going to start caring more about your appearance. But I like these pants. You've worn them since the eighth grade. They're comfortable pants. Fine. I'll pick them out for you myself. Like, what is wrong with her? Oops. Ow! Why didn't you text me last night? I waited up for you. Um, like, me and Scoob ordered a pizza, and then we just fell asleep watching a Vincent Van Gogh movie. Okay, apology accepted. But I still missed you. <sighs> not here. Velma not in public. Why? Daphne and Fred are going to find out sooner or later. I'm not worried about them. It's Scooby-Doo. He's my best friend. I want to break it to him, like, gently. I'm just waiting for the right time. It fell off fell before he ran away. But how could that collar be Scooby's? He's still wearing his. Well, he's obviously a mastermind criminal dog. He's bound to have a closet full of collars back home. <laughs> Let's go, you. <laughs> Scooby-Doo! I still can't...
can't believe it. Scooby-Doo locked up like... like an animal. What are we going to do? Scooby will get out. Someday. Meanwhile, maybe it's time to move on. You know, to someone else. Thelma, I'm just saying. Hey, I know it'll cheer Shaggy up. Welcome to Clam Cabin. Would you like to try... Shaggy's usual, please. You need to eat, Shaggy. You're gonna need your strength to help Scooby. Meanwhile, it's not like you're totally alone. Right? I guess not. It's just with Scoob gone, there's like this big hole in my life that I just don't know how to fill. Huh? <laughs> Rama dama do! Yeah. Dial it back a smidge, Belm. You know what? Enough of this. We're gonna see Scooby right now. your new pants um they're a little tight that's the style you look great i sort of feel like a sausage more parents are leaving at this rate crystal cove will be a town of nothing but spookified kids hey what's with the pants <laughs> <laughs> come on where are you <gasps> amy how did you get here all the way from the ocean it wasn't easy. The last few yards, the neighborhood cats were stalking me something fierce. <gasps> One second, Amy. I gotta log off. See y'all later. A special friend just stopped by for a visit. LOL. Wow. You came all this way just to see... me? I had to. Skipper Shelton has been taken by the fish freaks. What? But we just left him! I think they're headed for the oil platform. Can you lead us out there? Sure, I guess. Great! I'll call the gang! Come on, Mom! Open up, honey. I want to meet your special friend. Uh, what special friend? The one you just wrote about on your blog. Mom, you're so nosy. Now the Dinkley, you open the door this instant! Uh, how am I going to explain a mermaid in my room? I have this key I use to snoop around your room when you're not here. Oh, dear. Did I just say that out loud? You have no respect for my privacy. <laughs> of course I don't. You're a teenager. I told you, there's no one here. Uh, see? I told you. Fred, Freddy, please snap out of it. I swear nothing happened. Like nothing happened! Except for the most amazing kiss of my entire life! <laughs> oh, sorry, not helping. Didn't say that, nothing happened. I thought Shaggy was you, Fred. Yeah, and I thought I was you too. Like it was so cool having muscles and a jaw and a chin. Like a real chin. It's still not working. What if their minds are permanently gone? How would we know? Thelma. Dude, not cool. Fine. Why don't we just fix it the old-fashioned way? Wake up! Mm -hmm. You're dreaming! 
Mrs. Wyatt? Hi, is Jason home? My name is Velma. Velma? <gasps> You've come by to see my Jason? Please, please, come right in. My Jason will be so pleased you're here. Go on, his room's right down the hall. I'll fetch some date nut bread and soy milk. My Jason is lactose intolerant, but that's my Jason for you. Jason. Velma? Um, <clears throat> Velma, me and my eat chums. Guys, this is Velma. The one who doesn't scream and threaten to break me when I talk to her. Oh, it's a thing of beauty and date, man. Ooh la la. Hot mama-san. Oh, Velma, you Ooh. come to me. I've made so many crazy plans for us. First, mm. how about a double date? My friend Minjo has programmed a sock puppet with artificial intelligence. Her name is Sheila, she's a Pisces, and she's a cotton wool blend. I'm not here for romance, Jason. I'm here for an explanation. This servo leg joint is exactly the same kind we have in our robotics club. It came off a robotic dog that attacked a tour bus last night. Yeah, and like my best bud, Scooby got hauled off the jail because of it. Admit it, Jason, you set him up. And you had the perfect motive, to break up Mystery Incorporated so I would spend more time with you. You would accuse me of such a thing? After we've torqued the same wing nuts? The evidence doesn't lie, Jason. <laughs> the worst part is, you're smart enough to know that evidence is circumstantial at best. You failed to even ask me if I had an alibi. He was with us last night, as he is every night swapping Sudoku strategies. C'est vrai. Quite true, American <laughs> teenagers. <laughs> you evil girl. You're just trying to get rid of me. Well, it is I who gets rid of me. Get out. Did you hear what I said? Get out, get out, get out, and never return. <laughs> a man of what? Manicore. It's got the body of a lion, dragon wings, scorpion tail, and a terrifying man face. My dad bought it with some t-shirts online. Outsourcing monsters. Sounds like the mayor. What was the name of that site? Oh, yeah. Hauntedattractionsforsale.scare. Here it is. Huh. Looks like the temple was the last thing they had to sell. It says they're closed. It says a lot more than that. This website is a fake. Like, how can you tell? All these photos of so-called haunted attractions? Don't they look familiar? Hey, that's not a life-size possessed tribal idol. It's the Statue of Liberty. Someone went to a lot of trouble to put this site together. Someone with serious computer expertise. I'm starting to think we might not be dealing with a real manticore here. I think you're right, Daphne. You and Velma and I better go back to my dad's office and ask some more questions. Shaggy, you and Scooby head over to Creepy Spooky Terrorland. There may be more clues there. Great! And don't start with the nachos. Oh, shoot. Hang back a second, girl. You tell the rest of the gang about our little secret? You mean that your real name is Cassidy Williams? And you're an original member of Mystery Incorporated? No, I haven't. Because you said you were going to do it. Soon as things are safe, baby. Which reminds me, you still have that weird piece of disc you found in the old Daryl mansion? Fred has it. He hid it somewhere. Good. As long as it's safe. Safe from whom? Child, it's best right now if you didn't know the answer to that. Jinkies! Kids have taken over Crystal Cove. Yeah, like this whole neighborhood's been spookified. Yeah, but not this house. It's been for rent for a year. A fully furnished three-bedroom, two-bath charmer with upgraded appliances. Perfect for a couple just starting out. Not when I'm done with it. But, uh, why would K. Horrifico come here? He wouldn't. Unless there was a new family with kids moving in. And who would be dumb enough to do that? Oh, my. Don't our two young children seem to be having a wonderful time? <sighs> how humiliating. At least I'm out of those tight pants. <sighs> <sighs> this is nice. Watch it, Daphne. Remember, we're married. Don't look so happy. It's almost sunset. We better get inside. Right. Come to, young children. It's bedtime. Grandma's going to tell you a story. Oh, goody! <laughs> <laughs> 
Quick, get upstairs. Aren't you gonna tell us a story? Yes, the end. Now shh. Is there something different about your bangs? I raised them a half centimeter to bring out my forehead. Toodles! Where are you going? I, uh, forgot something. What? I forget. Hmm. You know, Shag, when we all graduate from high school and move in together, we can get a room just like this. You like bunk beds? I can't think about that right now, Fred. Like, I'm really worried about Scoob. Well, I'd say check on him if it weren't for the fact that we were warned to stay in our rooms. Hey, do you prefer flannel or cotton sheets? Shaggy? And, uh, oh, <laughs> Velma. Were you sneaking over to see me? Um, yeah, like I wanted to see you. But Freddy told me I had to go check in on Scooby-Doo, so I'm doing that. Trust me, Scoob is just fine. Hey, you know, if that cocoon does turn out to be organic, we might have a real honest-to-goodness monster in Crystal Cove. My guess? The cocoon is a multi-celled mutation, probably a result of radiated allotropes and free radical implosion. What do you think, Shaggy? Uh, I think I want more Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Velma, is there something going on between you and Shaggy? No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Why would anything ever be going on between me and Shaggy? 